Welcome. What I want to do today is show you how to multiply uh, two numbers in scientific notation, but they're actually very, very small. Um, as you can see, we, we have negative uh, exponents up here. So a couple things I want to remind you about scientific notation is scientific notation is how we like to write very big or very small um, numbers and in terms of a base 10. And what's really helpful about this is there's a couple rules that we're going to follow. Is one is our a has to be between 1 and 10. And then we're going to write my 10 to a power that has to be an integer, which is our n. So we can see we have two numbers here that are, two, um, that are in scientific notation. The important thing we have, as you notice though, is we have that they're to the negative power. And what I looked at, if I wanted to write, let's say, 200 um, as a, in scientific notation, I can write it, remember, 200 is not between 1 and 100, so I have to write 2.0 times. Now, how far? Do I, how many times do I have to move this decimal point over to get it to 200? I have to move it over two spots. So that's why I'm going to say 2.0 times 10 to the second, because I'm going to be moving it over two units to the positive direction. However, if I wrote 2.0 times 10 to the negative direction, what that kind of means is kind of like the same thing. If here would be like multiplying by 100, and to the negative second power, that's, set, that's like dividing by 100, meaning I'm going to move my decimal point over two units. So that's really 2.0 times 10 to the negative second power is really like 0 0.020. So when we're looking at the negative exponent, that's going to be moving our decimal point to the left. When it's positive, we're going to be moving it to the right, kind of like we're adding zeros um, by multiplying by 10. Now, the important thing when we have operations of scientific notation, we want to make sure that we are going to, when we have operations like multiplication, we got to make sure that we multiply our two numbers and then multiply our uh, basis. And the next important thing is remember that when you have a number, a to the m times a to the n, whenever you have two numbers and with the same base but different exponents, we need to make sure that we add the exponents, keep the base the same. So I'm going to do 5 times 8.9, and when I do 5 times 8.9, I get 44.5 times, and then I'll add this, will be 10 to the negative 4, as negative 2 plus negative 2, I'm adding them, is going to give me negative 4. However, so that means I'm going to move this over 4 spots, 1, 2, 3, 4. However, this number has to be between 1 and 10. So I'm going to have to rewrite this as 4.45. And if you look at for here, for regular lands, I had to move it over 4 units to get to the decimal point correctly. However, if I move it in between here, I now I have to move it one less spot to get to the answer. Therefore, it's going to be 4.45 times 10 to the negative third power. And that's how you multiply uh, scientific numbers with negative exponents. Thanks.